Hello, I am Foxfire. This is the Fox Gaming Channel, and welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play Dragon Warrior Monsters 2 Kobe's Journey. In the last episode, we did a little bit of backtracking in the Oasis world. We got a new party member, we picked up a couple of more items, and now we're going to travel back to Great Log. Alright, and so we have to go and find this pirate key somewhere in Great Log. Wonder, wonder where. Let's see. Alright. Oh. You're the child of the farmer. Under his majesty's decree, there will be a tournament for child masters. He wishes you to take part. Needless to say, a prize awaits the champion, the pirate key. Well, that was easy. That's okay. Tell us, tell us how we're going to get it right away. Awesome. The winner also wins the right to use the Starry Shrine and Egg Evaluator services. What? You don't know about the Starry Shrine or the Egg Evaluator? Ugh. Look them up at the library. I'm not much good at explaining, but I've gotten you the word. Okay. Let's let's go and check up on our parents. It has been been a little bit of a journey since we, we talked to them. Uh, there is Tara, our sister. Big brother, have you found a new plug for the Logs Naval? Oh, the title bell didn't fit? But I'm sure that you can do it. Don't give up, big brother. Papa made the, the farm a little bigger so you can leave more monsters. Do you need me for anything? Ah, yes. So you talk to her when you want to switch out your party with different monsters in that. Um... Obviously, drop off, you drop off what's in your party, pick up, you pick up another one, check, you see who you all have in the party and still on the farm, and then release is, of course, you release that monster. There's better things to do besides release, but of course, we'll get to that later. Alright, let's see if we can't find our father. A bridge to the island there will be will increase the farm space. Beaverin's helping with the bridge. I didn't know our dad had his own beaverin too. I'm chopping some trees down to make the farm larger. Stay well clear. Falling timber is very hazardous. Yes, yes, it is. that is true. Off to another world. There are many items to be found just laying around in other worlds. They will help you on your trek. Did you know you can record in your journal only in a castle, town, or a village in other worlds? Yeah, I believe I... Yeah, I, cause I'm pretty sure I just went over that in the last episode. Want to know how the farm works? Sure. The farm grew a lot bigger, including the monsters with you. The farm can hold up to 20 now. 20 now monsters in the farm. Earn some EXP as you battle. Yes, as, as you're battling the monsters that you have on the farm, do earn some experience points. But if you leave them in the farm, they will grow without learning skills. And they and they turn disobedient. Yes, so they won't learn any skill moves, abilities, and their wild meter will actually go up. So they won't listen to us and battle at all <laughs> uh, so you should take different monsters out to train them there's there's uh, a couple ways around to having your monsters not have their wild up we'll of course go over that when we get to that point uh, anything in the barrel just some dried hay let's check up on our mother you've been going out out a lot lately where do you go out to play? Oh, you're trying to save Great Log? Well, my hero, how about an errand? Could you go buy, buy love water? Dark Slime is badly sunburned, so I need to treat his condition. Here's some money, keep the change. And Mom just gave us 200 gold. That is nice. So, we have to get this pirate key now from winning this tournament. And we have to find our mother some love water for a dark slime. Take the ladder up ahead to the library on the second level. They have many reference books. You should go take a look sometime. 
I think we will. I think we will. The castle is in an uproar because Prince Kamea has disappeared. I bet he's hiding because one of his silly pranks was discovered. There are so there are so, some items that can be equipped by by your monsters. D scale, which is sold here, is one, but it's just one item per monster. Okay. You're too young to be shopping next time. Bring an adult, okay? Oh, an errand for your mother? For a youngster, you're obviously quite responsible. Sorry about that. What can I do for you today? All right, well, what do you have for sale? And he's got the love water. It only costs 50 gold. So we, we just made 150 gold off of that. Awesome. And that lady was saying those D scales. Let's get a couple of D scales. Raises defense by five points. Well, you need two because we do have the agility ring. Actually, you know what? Let's get, let's get three. Just in case we want to switch that out. Because, uh... In order to switch out a, an item, you have to give them another item to get the old one back. You know, to switch those around. It can... It's a little frustrating. It's okay, though. I don't, I don't mind it too much. Just... Takes a little extra longer. Now, what does he have to say down here? They say you use magic keys to go to other worlds. I guess they're indispensable to monster masters. Oh my, where did the shop go? Just when I needed to shop. Definitely didn't run away because the island was sinking. He definitely did not run away. I hear rumors that Prince Kamea was seen near the magic door. Is that prince going to spread his mischief to other worlds? Most likely. Most likely. You're really trying to become a monster master. Well, go for it. I'll be cheering you on. <laughs> Reminds me of um, the guy that was standing in front of the the gyms in, uh, in Pokemon games. He always tells you something about the the gym leader in that and he at the end of it says I'm rooting for you or something like that <laughs> uh, I don't think we really need to talk to these people but let's go over what the vault is so the vault which I think she I think this person goes over the vault actually let's see what she has to say if your party is wiped out half your money's gone just like that but any money the vault any money in the vault, it's safe. Better save than sorry, just like your journal. Travel smart. Yeah, so every time you lose, when when you when all your party members have died, you will lose half of your money and a good chunk of your items that are that you have on you. So the smart thing would be to deposit everything you're not gonna need. Um So you can you can deposit all your items. But the thing is with gold, it only lets you deposit in increments of 100. So you have to have at least 100 gold to deposit, you know, gold. 100 is the minimum. So that extra 40 that we got there, that's just going to be on us. Is we can't, we can't deposit that in here. Um, items. Let's see here. We'll, we'll deposit all of this except for the love water. We need that. We need to go and take that to our mother. And the D scales we'll keep for now because we gotta put those on our monsters. Exit bell. Bookmark deposited. Alright. So let's let's equip some of these D scales. And we'll deposit this extra D scale, of course. Right, now that that's done, let's uh, let's go and give this love water to our mother.
Oh, you brought the love water. This will heal dark slime. Thank you, dear. And we handed over the love water. Look at that. He perked right on up. Awesome. And I think we can talk to her again and she'll give us another fetch quest. I'll get you to run more errands. Oh, don't look so glum. Oh, okay, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Maybe we have to wait until after we get the pirate key. <clears throat> well, let's see what else has been unlocked here now. So somebody said something about a library. Right, ooh. This, this kid right here. Take this slide as a shortcut. Just know about that. Here is the uh, key shop. Um, I don't think there's very much we can do here. Uh, later on, we'll get uh, oh, tiny metal, actually. But later on, we will be getting just like regular magic keys. And we'll have to take them to this guy. And for fee, he will uh, identify the key for us so we can use it. Monsters hate being away from their master. They can turn rebellious out of sadness, try to understand. I think that's in reference to their, their wild meter going back up. Uh, sit full, or, <laughs> this book is so sad. Right, let's check out this pedestal. Uh, library guide. You may check your catalog of monsters in the library. The monsters you befriend or breed are catalogs by family in which individual species are listed. To examine your catalog, please speak to the receptionist. Okay. Hyperion returns you instantly to Great Logs, so I take one with me when I visit other worlds. Yes. And I do as well, the majority of the time. There are books that change your personality just by reading them. That is true. Oh, and if we talk to receptionist, to library, you may check your catalog here. The catalog is personalized, so it won't contain data on monsters that you don't know. Anyway, which family would you like to check? Yes, so monsters are categorized in families. So we have the slime family, the dragon family, the beast family, the bird family, plant, bug, demon, undead, material, water, and then the question mark one, that's actually boss monsters. Yes, eventually we can get boss monsters. Um, ooh, I meant to actually show you a little bit more. So if we go to the slime family, go to spot slime, so he gives us uh, their, their size, how rare it is, a little bit of info on them, uh, some of the moves that they learn, their skills, and where the question marks are, that would be replaced by the, the families for, for breeding them. So like what family type, combining those two would make the spot slime. So that's, that's what that, that would be saying over there. But we don't have the breeding unlocked yet. Uh, eventually we will. So we're, we're not going to go into too much detail over that quite yet. Um, also, these bookshelves. Uh, these bookshelves and these posters have a little, little bit more lore in them, as well as some breeding combinations for certain monsters. Uh, let's see if here. Monster growth... By experiencing battle, monsters will gain power and skills. Um, personalities. Yeah, I, I know one of these has like a breeding recipe. Relief is indecible. Uh, uh, ignore me on that one. I don't know how to read for a second. I don't know how to read at all. <laughs> Nuts and seeds, attack seed, and mystic nuts are rare items that enhance stats slightly. Yes, that is right. There are items that enhance your monster's stats. 
hidden abilities. Monsters are very mysterious in many ways. They may have hidden abilities. That that one I'm not I'm not too sure on like what hidden abilities they have. Uh, yeah, magic key guide. Unnamed magic keys cannot be used until they are appraised. Otherwise, it's impossible to figure out its destination. I know, I know one of these bookshelves here that I haven't looked at does have some type of, like, breeding recipe to make something. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to the breeding once we unlock that. So now let's go down here. This is the arena area that we also just unlocked. But let's go over here and talk to these nice people. Well, you're a mighty lively kid. Let me tell you something. Did you know about tiny metals? They can't be sold, but they can be traded to a collector. You should store them in the vault. Take care to find tiny metals. Look in vases and barrels for them. And the vase right next to her. I think this one has anything in it. Nope. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Try the slide. It's a shortcut. My dad's a famous monster master. I'm going to be just like him. And here's colorful fruits. More colorful fruits. I was on my way to the magic door so I could go to another world. Orbu stopped me and demanded help, but I've been conned enough by that prankster. Not this time. Ask what happens when you cry wolf too much. Pack properly for going off to another world. Some have never returned. Um, book that keeps a record. Oh, it just explains what the journal does. That just, yeah. Bookmarks. Yep, we already already went over what a bookmark is too. That's a save in any location. So it's over here. My granddaughter is painfully shy. She she seems so sad by herself. Oh, you're so lucky to have so many friends like that. I wish I had one. A spot slime would be so adorable. I believe we actually have an extra spot slime. We'll, uh, we'll get that to her here later. Let's see what else we got here. Hey, let me ask you something. Did you see that woman next door? No? Cuz, you're lucky. Stay away, that's the thing. Okay. Check his bookshelf. Found his diary. A girl with pretty eyes moved in next door. I thought I lucked out, but she had a sharp tongue. Hmm. Let's go next door. Let's see what's going on next door then. Did you know that there's a place for changing monster names? No, I didn't. Go visit the Krishna. She's a lovely lady. She's not anything like that creep who lives next door. <laughs> this is the first day for me alone while moving in. I noticed a good-looking man living next door, but he star but he but he stared and whistled at me. How rude and so unelegant. Oh, maybe a little hidden love story here between these two. Not to see how that story unfolds. All right, and then down this way is the actual arena, but we're not going to get to that today. Um, I'm going to end this video here today, and next time we will go and scope out the arena and see if we can't give that little girl a spot slime. So until then, bye.